Okay, out of the whole $124,000 you did in sales, how much of it is actually profit, Mo? Well, yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your man, Mohammed Kamara, and you know what time it is, man. Let's get right into it. Okay, I want to reveal to you the exact store that's done over $85,000 per month for me. And, you know, like I mentioned in the last video, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'll link it up here for you where I mentioned how I quit dropshipping. Okay, I'm no longer doing the dropshipping business model. And I now move towards just a branded dropshipping. So I'm taking control of my inventory. I got products coming into my mom's basement and I'm shipping them out from there, providing for a better customer experience, etc. Okay, if you haven't seen that video, Go check that out or you're just going to be completely lost right now. But in this video, I do want to talk about and actually just reveal to you the actual results of this store. Okay, In the past, I would say four or five months, I've been building this thing, moving it from the dropshipping business model to the actual branded business model. And you know, I'm going to show you the exact numbers and we'll be sharing some inside info on my business right now. So do me a favor, hit the like button on this video. You know you're going to get some value out of this video. So just hit the like right now so you don't forget. But as you can see, we're at $1,000 in sales today so far. This is actually a bad day. Like right now would usually be around 1500 okay? But we still might end the day around maybe like 1500 in sales, whatever. Okay, as you can see right here, yesterday we did 2K in sales. The day before that, 1700 2000 The day before that, you know, 2400 So this month so far, almost 10K, and we're only on the 6th of the month. But I want to back up real quick. So let's start it from like Black Friday. So like November 25th to today, all right? And I want to show you how this business has performed. So over 100K, so over six figures in the past six weeks. You know, so, and as you can see, we were hitting days as high as like 7,000 on Black Friday, but that was just because of the Black Friday season. But right now, most recently, we're doing an averaging around $2,000 per day, okay? And right now, I gotta kind of refresh my creators, but I'm only showing you guys this not to show off. This is unlike any other dropshipping store. What you're gonna see across YouTube and everything like that is usually gonna be people showing you these crazy high numbers, showing you crazy stats, oh, 10,000 in one day, but they're not gonna show you the actual breakdown of the profit, the ad spend, all that stuff. And since I actually transitioned my business from the dropshipping business model to doing a branded dropshipping, I found that I've been able to make more profit, which I've mentioned in the previous videos. I found that I've been able to get more customer loyalty because I'm getting more people to repeat a purchase now. And just the overall experience for my customers is better. Like if I was drop shipping right now, all of these orders that were placed in December still wouldn't have arrived to the customers by now. But guess what? A lot of my customers are leaving positive reviews because they're seeing that they're getting their products within two, three days. Okay. If you go on the ads on my product page, you'll see a lot of them comment, I love mine, and they're tagging other people, and it brings more of like organic sales to you, okay? That word of mouth is gonna be your biggest growth that you're ever gonna get. So I just wanted to mention that real quick so you guys know that, okay, dropshipping is a cool business model to test the product, to probably get into the space and just, you know, you wanna have low startup costs at first, but eventually, you're gonna need to transition over to branding, you know, taking control over your logistics. And really in 2022, I think that's the only way to really see like consistent long-term results with your store is by actually branding and making the, the customer experience better. Let's dive into the profit. I know everybody's curious, how much are you actually making in profit? Okay, so here's my B Profit calculator. This is an app that I use to basically calculate all my expenses, my daily profit loss. So you can download it in the App Store. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. You know I got y'all. Make sure you hit that like though, all right? Hit that like for me. But I'm gonna set it to the same time frame. Okay, so it's on the 25th to today already. And as you can see, today's Snapchat, we are at a 34% profit on today's numbers. So we're at 1,000 in sales, but we're taking home 370 in profit. And today's a bad day, okay? Let's look at yesterday's. We'll see our net margin there was almost 50%. Okay, so we took home almost basically over a thousand dollars in profit yesterday alone. And in that time frame, you're probably wondering, okay, out of the whole hundred and twenty-four thousand dollars you did in sales, how much of it is actually profit, Mo? Well, here it is. According to B Profit, I would say more so around like forty-five thousand. Okay, this is not including some of the packaging and the material costs 
that I have to actually account for. So I would say it's, it's more so around 45,000, but still that's very, very impressive. That's like a 40% margin on e-commerce store. Okay, as you can see, our ROAS is up the roof. We get every dollar we put into TikTok ads, we're getting $5 back, which is like phenomenal compared to Facebook. If you was drop shipping, this number would probably be around $3. Okay, so go down here. I'm trying not to go too far down because it's going to reveal. As you can see, my products are down here. I'm not going to reveal that. Okay, if you guys are wondering, why not reveal your products? Well, I actually only reveal that to my paying students in Econ Bootcamp 3. So if you want to get more in detail with this store and, you know, I show you the actual product, do weekly live calls, things like that, you can join Econ Bootcamp. That link is below. But I will not be sharing that on YouTube. Okay, but the actual numbers, when we look at the breakdown, we can see over 23,000 in product costs, okay? Because I'm buying these products in bulk, they're actually cheaper per unit, so I'm actually making more profit just from buying in bulk, okay? And the downside is, yes, you're gonna have to spend more money up front. But I always tell guys, like, yo, you don't have to go and buy thousands and thousands of units right away. You can start off by just ordering 100 units of your product. You know, if you're somebody who's been drop shipping for a long time right now, at least over two months, I would suggest that you actually start slow, you know, buy some, you know, maybe 100 units of each SKU, you know, actually feel the product in your home, see how much space it's going to take up and ship those out because that's going to allow you to get better conversion rates. You're going to see that your customers are a lot happier when they get those orders and basically going to start off on a good foot without having to spend too much money on inventory. Okay, so that's one way to go about it. As you can see, we spent a little over 30,000 on ads and that's all going towards TikTok. So if we look at the breakdown right here, 41% is our net profit. We have 30K in ad spend. We have another 23K in cost of goods and then shipping, we paid about 12,000 for this. You know, make sure your product is under one pound so that when you do ship it out from home, you're gonna save a lot more money there too. Okay, but I just want to give you guys an inside look like, yeah, drop shipping is great, man. It's, it's what's been able to get me out the hood. It's what's been able to absolutely transform my life and, you know, get me into the position I am now. But it's not a long term business model. And like I said, a lot of people are really going to push that agenda on you guys because they're really just trying to get clicks for their YouTube videos. But they're not going to tell you that, you know, drop shipping is just the beginning of actually establishing a business. Okay, let me dive in a little bit deeper. Let's go into the analytics tab of this store here. And I'm going to go back into the same time frame. Let's keep everything consistent. So I'll go back to the 25th all the way to now. And I want you all to pay attention to three key numbers, okay? There's a lot of stats here, but the only things you need to be worried about when it comes to profitability and actually making money with your store is not revenue. It's going to be your average order value. Okay, you want to make sure you keep that as high as possible. You can use discounted upsells. You can use post-purchase sales, email sequences to get people who already bought or people who think about buying to actually spend more every time they purchase because that's going to lead you to being way more profitable. Okay, like we always say, McDonald's doesn't make money off of the cheeseburger. They make profit off of the fries and the soda that they sell. So make sure you have the fries and the soda with your product so that you can get more out of every single customer. That's the first metric, right? That's going to contribute to your short-term profitability. The next metric you need to pay attention to is your conversion rate. If you don't have a store that's built to sell, then, you know, you're going to be driving traffic to a store that is just, it's a waste. You know, people might come to your store. They see that it's untrustworthy or the shipping times are too long. Let me just go to Amazon instead. And you don't want that. Okay. So you want to make sure your product is unique. You have the proper copywriting on your store to actually sell to a specific group of customers. You want to make sure that your pricing point is fair. You want to make sure your product title is not something that they could just copy and paste it into Amazon. And then, you know, they'll go and get the sale on Amazon and you're over here marketing for Amazon instead. You know, so make sure your product is unique in every single sense so that people feel like your store is really the only place to get the product. But once you get that conversion rate up, you know, part of the reason why my conversion rate is up 13% is because we've been able to offer our customers faster shipping. So... Once you start branding, you get some of those benefits right away. 
that once your conversion rate goes up, your pixels perform better because they're converting. You get more data feeding back to your ad platform and you're able to optimize new ad sets to be more profitable and increase those chances too. So everything works in a system here, all right? And that's just the second metric we're talking about. The third metric I want you guys to pay attention to is our returning customer rate, okay? For most dropshippers, this number is usually gonna be around zero, okay? And this is only in the past month, but I want you to pay attention to this. Peep how this is just in the past month, in December, right? But if we look at this month alone, we're gonna see that returning customer rate goes from 5.76% to about 9%, so it jumped up. So it's funny, because right now, usually what happens is if you were dropshipping, Right, A lot of drop shippers right now in the month of January and February, they're going through a point in time where you're going to get a lot of returns. You know, People who are not getting their products early enough are going to be upset, so they're going to hit you with chargebacks, and that's going to eat into your profitability even more too. Right, And some of you watching this right now, you're probably experiencing this, and that's fine. Okay, that's fine. You need to be a better business owner and just brand your product. Give them a better customer experience and you're not gonna have to deal with none of those things. Okay, so instead of returns going up, you know, I'm actually getting my repeat customer rate going up. So what's that telling me? That's telling me that the customers actually like the products they're getting, so they're coming back for more, either to get it for themselves or for other members in their family. Okay, so I'm not saying, like again, I, I feel like I have to mention this over and over. If you have no money, go and start a dropshipping business. That's the best thing you could do right now. Start a dropshipping business, get your head in the game, get some skin in the game, and then once you test and validate that product, definitely switch over to a branding business model because that's gonna be more suitable for long-term profits. You're gonna be able to keep more, right? It's not about how much you make, it's about how much you keep. That's what's actually gonna pay for your lifestyle, pay for your trips, buy the things you want, etc. okay? These are the, all the things that other dropshippers on YouTube are just not gonna talk about because it's not pretty, it's not sexy enough. Okay, so I just wanted to point this out here that, yes, the branding business model is what's working right now. If you want to see success with your e-commerce store in 2022, you're going to have to move over to this business model and, you know, actually provide your customers with a better experience. Therefore, they're going to want to see you in business and you can keep making more profits for a longer period of time. All right. But like I said, I do reveal more in-depth, in-detail strategies on this inside my Econ Bootcamp 3, newly released, optimized for 2022 using TikTok ads, branding, showing you the whole nine yards. We just had Zach the other day who um, did $12,000 in one day, okay? So shout out to Zach, man, student of the week, definitely for sure. He's crushing it right now. He's in the group and, you know, it's just a community of like-minded individuals that are all in there, just a bunch of hustlers. And I'm so proud of that community that we built. So if you're interested in joining, go ahead. If not, I'm still going to do a giveaway, okay? So I'll be announcing a giveaway winner. If you want to enter that, all you have to do is type down in the comments, hashtag Money Mafia, and uh, put whatever comment you want, okay? Hashtag Money Mafia, and whatever comment you want, video, suggestion, any critique, anything you want to see in the future, go ahead, let me know in the comments. But that'll automatically enter you into a raffle to enter to win Econ Bootcamp 3 full membership, okay, absolutely free. So I'll pick one lucky person and announce it on my Instagram. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, go ahead and give me a follow there and I'll announce the winner soon, okay? But in the meantime, I just wanted to drop this, this knowledge. I just wanted to drop this gem real quick to actually show you the numbers, be transparent with you guys that yes, e-commerce is alive and well in 2022. If you got some value out of this video, man, please, Hit a like and subscribe because I'm going to be hitting y'all with gems all month, all right? I'm going to be dropping videos for you guys and they're going to be dropping whenever. So be ready for it. Hit a subscribe so you don't miss out on those. And until next time, Money Mafia, appreciate y'all for hanging out with me today. I hope you got some inspiration out of this. Go kill it, man. Start branding your drop shipping stores. Let's move away from that business model. Let's bring better customer experiences to our customers and make more profits, all right? I'll see y'all all at the top, man. Catch y'all in the next video. It's your man, Mohammed Kamar. You know what time it is. Let's get it.